Yo yo everybody and welcome to a new Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord gameplay series. This time we're doing something a little bit different. The entire world is at war using the World War Mod. Which will help us with our ultimate goal of becoming the most powerful kingdom. Now who are we playing as? We are playing as... This person! Uri! from a far away land, far away northern land, and she is kind of special in a way. There she is, she's a cruel and se deadly serious girl from far away land. And now this is what's going to be interesting in this playthrough because indeed she communes with the dead and uses their blood in her smithing. She is a smith. And whilst we will be focusing on some smithing and actually crafting weapons, there's something else we will do as well, because smiths also make armor. Of course, we can't just make armor. I suppose we could if we had, a, had our own mod. But what we will do instead is we have the ability to improve armor that we've purchased. And I'm going to put this on the screen here. But basically, we will be able to put the mark of hell on an armor to increase its armor by 10, reduce its weight by half, and well, that's going to be on any of the pieces. But of course, this is not going to come for free. First, we need to own a blacksmith somewhere to be able to do that. Naturally, we need our time and space to sort that sort of shit out. And we also need 20 Thamaskine steel because working requires stuff. And we also need at least 50 smithing to achieve it, which we've got 20 for now. And she starts out relatively weak because we also have the better attributes mod still installed. So these attributes are actually worthwhile. And we will gain a free attribute point and a focus point every level. But what we also need to do to finalize that enchantment on our armor is we need to execute a lord. That's right. We need the blood of a noble to fully empower our armor, so we will be killing some fools. Now, something we've also got is the, ah, yes, the Hellguard here, because, well, we're using the My Little Warband mod. So we're using the Hellguard troops. So we've got two lines here. Basically, they're focused on having throwing weapons. The soldiers are beefy with a one-handed weapon, some javelins and two shields so when they wield one there'll also be one on their back hopefully it'll be very durable they're your typical tanky fellows durable but not too slow their armor isn't the heaviest because i wanted them to not be you know standing still considering how you know uh bulky it is with two shields and the other line is the shield maidens who instead of a one-handed weapon have short spears and they have more javelins and no, just one shield just one shield indeed and they are more focused on being well they're a bit less durable and they are really what we have against cavalry because um yeah well you'll see the nobles when you get there but they are not exactly what we want against uh, cavalry other My goodness, there's way too many sea raiders around here. We gotta get out of here. We need some troops. Oof, so many bandits. It's horrible. Ah, and we've already got it. One of the nobles, which have a two-handed weapon, a shield, and a throwing. And that's basically how they go around. They are our typical berserker unit but they are a bit more durable with decent armor and they'll get rather powerful now obviously they don't get too much powerful they um i've tried to keep it quite as balanced as possible by having it very close to what other troop trees have except for the uh final one here the blessed valkyrie who has got a lot a lot of athletics because it's uh wearing some heavy armor and if you don't have heavy armor, then, well, you don't need that much athletics, but... Ah, yes. But that's the thing, right? The, the special thing about these is also that they're not just normal berserkers, they also have these short two-handed maces, which 
I'm, it might be entirely terrible. It might be absolutely awful. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. All right, something I totally glossed over is that Uri has two special items to start with. First, she has the Hell's Guard, which is a MD Yuka shield. It's not great, but we will be able to upgrade it at one point to become better. So Hell's Guard here is going to be empowered every two Lord kills. Which means, if we want a really powerful shield, we're going to need to kill a lot of people. But, you know, it's a, it's a shield. It doesn't need to be improved that much. And last but not least, we have the Hellfire Orbs. Oh, yes. There's a 40 of these in a stack. With 60 blunt damage, and they are our bread and butter weapon. Now, let's see if we can't find some looters to fight now that we are five. I think we can manage these nine if they let us. Seems like they won't let us, which is a shame. Come on. Fight us. Ooh, I don't really know if this many is a good idea. Ah, do you know what? Screw it. We will do this many because our hellfire is powerful. Now, I don't really want to be riding on top of the horse, but I might have to do it for this because... There's way too many. But the Hellfire Orb is very powerful in a way that it is AoE. But it doesn't do that much damage and it does need to hit. Its actual uh, collision box is not fantastic. Oh, it's just a tiny little rock, really. So... Uh, yeah, I actually feel like this is going to cost us every one of our units. Uh, maybe not. If we're lucky, our nobles are really good here. I tested out the nobles before, and they were not that capable. But it seems... It seems they're capable enough this time. Ah, uh -huh, nice! Victory! Oh, that's actually... I'm actually surprised, because, you know, if you didn't know, looters are actually tier 2 units. They have the skills of tier 2 units, so... If we look at the stats of the Initiate here... Well, okay, no, the Initiate here is quite a bit better than a Luda. Actually, it's got 50 one-handed. Well, I suppose I... Uh, that's fine, even though it doesn't use one-handed. I think that's good for balancing that it doesn't have more than that. Alright. Excellent. Got some stuff. We got some more stuff. Does any of this... We can put on a hat. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, it's always sad to put on this crap to start with, isn't it? It's just always so bad. But our first battle was a victory. And a pretty good one at that. Our throwing orblets, the hellfires. Oof, no, 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 no. I don't think we've got enough, enough men for this. How fast are they? They're faster than us. And this dude's running away? Dude, come on. Why are we so slow? Uh, nearly minus one from prisoners. Okay, do you know what? Uh, we're not that desperate for prisoners. Yeah. No, no thank you. Not right now. So what we really want is we want some money. Because what should we really get first? Okay, troops. Excellent. Obviously we want troops. But we also want a blacksmith, which needs money as well. And, and then, you know... Then we can get the steel. And then the other stuff... Hmm. But see, here's the thing, because we have Karadia at War installed, which has these guys, these little lords, which aren't really lords, but they count. They are, you know, they're people, you could say. In that, in this sense, they are indeed someone you can execute, and if you can execute them, it counts. So these are guys we're going to be keeping an eye on for the early game to really power us up, because I'm not entirely sure we have what it takes take on a real lord well we i i know we don't right now so well you know you've got to start somewhere and that is somewhere we can start i suppose we should really do some trading for some money to start with then well trading's good 
Uh, there's probably not going to be too many troops around for us to grab in the beginning. Because everybody is at war with everybody with the World War mod. Which is going to make it a little bit difficult to actually get troops. Now it's getting uh, some horses and stuff. Okay, there we go. That's... Speed us up, get us some different food, and let's go to Omol then. Actually, I think we can take on 18 looters. As long as these Sea Raiders don't come in, because Sea Raiders are pretty damn good. I'm trying to remember if I actually said everything. All oh, right, the better attributes mod this time is actually not nearly as, uh, well, previous series it was overtuned a bit to make us more overpowered which is fun and exciting and yeah i'm not i'm gonna get on the horse again i think no i'm not we're going to be on the floor with our men but anyway yes it's not the effects are not that powerful as they were then because we are going to have to rely on our powerful smithing to become overpowered in this series that and our stun balls here the hellfire orbs oh dear i should have gone Okay, okay, we've got to... Oh, we're so tiny! Holy shit, what have I done? Okay. Okay, we have... We have... Ooh. Oh, well, they are taking a beating. Why are I... T How are we... Why are we so small? Okay, I think I might have to increase the FOV. I can't see anything for being so tiny. That's, that's like the opposite of what you usually say, right? You can't, usually can't see anything for being tall, so this is weird, but... Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, we've got none of that. We'll get the guard here, because I quite like the idea of getting some man meat in here. Also, I just want to see how it is with a little macelet and two shields. We've already got a veteran Valkyrie. Damn, that's good shit. Alright, well, let's get back to to uh, Varcheg to sell these guys because um yeah running around with these is not a good idea already got a bit more money excellent which means we can get some more food fish food yeah I don't really know if this fish is actually worth it is the problem but it, I mean it probably isn't but we don't know what it sells for and how? Ooh, Majadan Castle is under siege. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, maybe if we go Sionan, they're not going to have any fish. But we gained a level. Excellent. Now, what do we need first? Well, we don't really want to be riding around. Roguery. No, I don't think we're going to be doing crimes to start with. Although we can do crimes because Fobury is in here. I think maybe medicine increasing is a good idea. Well, I think I'll start off with one in intelligence to give us a little bit more experience. And then one in charm. Yeah, maybe that should have been medicine. Maybe we'll do that next time. But we do just want... Uh, well, we, we want to be gaining the reputation with people when uh, we do things and getting a lot of charm is pretty good if you want to actually gain a lot of influence later too oh here's the dude oh these are some weird colors in here okay 10 troops nice that's always it. i quite like having at least 10 troops here in the beginning all right we got to look at the people in here Ooh, this is a scout. And a horseman. And he can throw. You know what? He seems like someone we need to talk with. Oh, isn't he a handsome fellow? This could be our best friend. Oh! Tell me about yourself, sign. Oh, I shall tell you. Is there a bird in the house? He may wish to take notes. I believe this is fine material for a song. I'm a connoisseur of horseless, my friend. No one knows horses better than I, but I find, alas, that often the best horses are wasted on unworthy owners. 
So I try to rectify that. I was raised as a stable boy. And oh god, he does stuff with horses. Oh no, we can't afford it. He's 500 and something. Damn it. Okay, what is our money? We will sell the fish for... Indeed, profit. Oh my god, I was right. And we will definitely be able to afford him now. Sign horse thief. Yes, he is ours. We might need to call him something else because he is not a horse thief. He's more like a horse lord. But he is our brother now, the sign fellow. Oh yes, make no mistake. He is one who we will have at our side forever. <laughs> I say that because he's probably going to die eventually, but no. Sign. He's our man. He's our boy. He will help us rule a good kingdom. Yes, he will. Well, a few more troops in here. And then... Wait, that was a quest. We should look at the quest, because uh, the last time I remember, the Batanians are all about... No, not needing tools. They're all about having problems with their daughters, running off with rogues, and that's the sort of quest I enjoy. I really do enjoy that so much. It's so stupid. Okay, well, there's not a lot. Oh, Carpanteth is purple? What the hell? Oh, I love it. I can just run around, and there's all new countries everywhere. All right, and if you didn't notice, none of our troops are cavalry, because that's just not how we do things here. Oh, we've got a really ugly iron belly dude here, but we don't really have the money to get going. Oh, there's some expensive stuff and cheap stuff. Where? Ooh, meat. Can, I, can sell that for good at Varcheg, eh? Interesting. You can also sell cheese at Varcheg. Holy shit, look at that. What can sell this cheese for? Let's get the cheese then. I really get a lot of it. All right, back to our check of the cheese. Hopefully we can find someone to fight on the way. Maybe find a decent quest. Yeah, we're not going to talk to the lords because the lords are not going to have any good quests for us at this rate. No, no, no. We just need the money. The money and the power to not get overwhelmed by a small group of whatever random criminals might be wandering about. Rum, rum, rum. Even the sea raiders are running away. Right, I don't believe it. Oh my god, that was fantastic. Now, what do we want to buy? Fish, yeah? Yeah, I think it's just fish. Do you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to go on some trade runs here, boys and girls, because we need it. Well, maybe these 15 guys, we can fight them too. They may be too fast for us. All too stupid. Yes, too stupid is what they were. Cut them down. All right, the FOV. Oh, it was the camera distance. I don't know. I don't think it helped. We're too small. I'm not sure how that bloody works. But it is what it is. It looks like we're running fast, though, which is nice. But we're not. We're actually running really slowly. The shield is covering almost the entire of this tiny body, though, so that's good. Okay, I'm not sure it was a smart move to charge in because the looters are definitely better than our initiates. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Well, we're gonna help. We're helping. We're helping, guys. We're doing it. Yes, it worked! We won! Not that no, nobody was really scared that we weren't gonna, but... Yeah, the trained Valkyries here are mercil mercilessly killing stuff. The initiates did kill stuff as well. I think it's just because of how many we have in each, actually. More so than anything else. Ooh, lots of upgrades. Holy dingle. Oh, I, I... Never mind. Yes, we are not going to upgrade these troops without the money right now. We're going to wait until we have some money, actually. Back to Karbatseth. I'll upgrade the troops later. Oh, that's a tiny dude. These 
Losing troops, burning this down? What? Maybe killing lords is not going to be as difficult as I thought. I mean, if we, we just gain, like, I don't know, around 50 good troops... Maybe we could just kill all these tiny small lords. I mean, yeah, sure, the Skull of Brother, that's a mercenary, but still. Mercenaries count? 21! That's crazy, like... These guys are so... so small. Are we gonna... well, obviously we still need 20 Themyscene steel, and we actually also need a blacksmith. So even if we did manage to defeat a tiny lord, it's no good because we can't really do much with it. And even so, we would want to use the upgrade on a decent piece of armor, not just the crap we have now. So, I suppose we can't really randomly speedrun it. I mean, we can, but we don't really get anything out of it. And here's a good amount of gold. Oh, yes. This man can't sell anything here. Do you know what? I can help you. Oh, he's... Wants me to take stuff to someone in Oxhall. I see. Oh! He wants me to give him the goods. Because he's a criminal. He's the criminal, not me. But I'm not doing that, of course. Because Udi just... Well, you know. Uh, I don't know. Udi's out for herself, man. Not whoever these people are. But there's an, a tournament going on here, my goodness. That's something we've got to do, man. We've got to do the tournament. We've got 2,000 gold. <laughs> you know what that means. It means we're going all out. There's only one lord in here. Yeah. We're doing it. We're betting all the money we've got. Oh, shit. Two-handed uh, weapons? Oh, no. No. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah! At least with tiny target. <laughs> they don't know how to hit. How to hit the tiny girl here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god, it's who headed all the way through. Holy shit. They can't hit the tiny one. <laughs> I'm too small to beat! What is this shit? I mean, look at this waist. It's like a little worm. Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, easy headshots. What the fuck? <laughs> Woo! Okay, so Folksman and. Oh my god, it's a sword knight. You know what? Okay, let's not get cocky. Let's not get cocky. If we can actually win this. <laughs> My God, get wrecked there! <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, monkey brain, I know. Oh, but they are extra monkey brain. What? Winning! <laughs> Woo! Damn, that's a good start. I'm so used to starts going like absolute shit. And we have shit stats, man. So this is pretty damn good. So this is a broadsword, a one-handed. I think it's probably better than what our dude has. Yeah, way better. He wants throwing weapons as well, right? That's what... Wrong button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, polearm. Pole arm and throwing weapons. Yeah. Also a horse. I'm not sure we're going to give him a horse, but he is actually going to be our scout. Now, let us see. We could probably also give him a shield. Shields are good. Oh, look. They sell the hellfires here. I should probably make it so that it's not something you can purchase. But yeah, no, we're not going to be buying any more of those because these are powerful enough as it is. Uh, we have 8,000, so we could just give him these woodland ones, but I mean, the, uh, no, the horseman javelin, <laughs> actually, he's the horse thief, right? So that's perfect. We'll give him one stack of javelins, I think. We don't really want him to stand there all day. Now, let's give him a shield that's not too expensive. Oh, a wicker shield, perfect. Massive, 
and defensive. Exactly what we need for our man here. And I shouldn't forget to buy whatever we can sell for good money. Meat. Wait. Beer sells for this much? I... Okay. Okay, I'm buying as much of this beer as I can. Okay, let's go. Let's sell this beer at Varcheg. Sell the beer at Varcheg, yeah. My goodness, if it actually sells for that much, that's insane. Okay, he's going to get there. No, apparently he's going... What the hell's going on here? Yeah, look at that. This dude's dirty. Oh, it's going to be so good to kill people. Okay, we need to calm down. We need to actually first... Oh, there's something he wants to discuss with me. The men say their wages are late. Oh, yes. Uh, they are late, but I've now paid them, right? It's fine. You can't retroactively complain about that. Shut the hell up. Sign. Okay. Do you know what? I should be, I should be nice. Sign is my good man. Woo. There we go. 20 out of 20. Sign is my man. He is my ally. He's working with me. He's retroactively going into the backstory to be the real big buddy here. So, I've got to be a little bit nicer to him, I think. Holy shit, that's a lot of barbarian raiders there. Not something we want to get involved with. Iron ore. Yeah, we're not selling. Oh, Jesus, it is selling for this much. Holy mother of God. Yeah, we'll just sell all of it, man. That's so much money. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, why not, man? Just, just get some stuff. So much money. Trade. Oh, my God. Should we put more in trade? Uh, I think we should maybe actually have some trading. I think that's a good idea. And we will put one in endurance. Because we actually want to be able to gain some experience with our smithing. Now, do we have some weapons? No, because I've actually been selling all of them instead of reserving some of them for smithing. Do you know what? Let's buy these really cheap things here. I say really cheap, but uh, it's taking a toll of, on a thingy, obviously. But here we go! Smithing! So I have changed it around a little bit with Chaos's tweaks. So we have a lot more stamina. And stamina does regenerate when we run around. And doing stuff requires less stamina. Oh, we we need charcoal. But we can't do the charcoal because we don't have any hard wood. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Of course we need wood. And there's no wood! God damn it. Right. Gotta go somewhere else. And Vildur may actually siege Varchek. Interesting. Could be exciting, really. Okay, who's got wet? Ah, oh, let's look at Meshadan Castle then. Let's go down here. Yes, basically smithing is not... Oh, actually, we need to go to Oxhall for a quest! I can't remember. They have got wood. That's good. Oxhall, we go! But yeah, basically... Oh, how fast are they? Okay, if we just don't move into them, it'll be fine. Go. They have a sieging castle. Oh, oh it's got sieges everywhere. <gasps> Amazing. But yeah, smithing is going to be easier than normal because it's also not fun to just watch someone wait and wait and wait somewhere for smithing to get leveled up. It's actually extremely boring to play and watch, I feel. So it's a bit easier, but it's not without stamina. So we can't just sit down and do it forever and ever. So we do have to pace it out a little bit. Which is also a bit more interesting. But obviously, at some point, we've got to decide where to settle. Now, Yuri here is from the north. So it would make sense for her to make her home there as well. Because we have to be, you know, in the land of the blacksmith. Well, no, that's not true. We don't... Hmm. Actually, that would be interesting. If we had to bring the person we want to execute to where our blacksmith is to then empower it. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Should we bring the person to the place to execute them? Or not? Oh no, we're no longer devious. 
Shit. Oh well. We'll we'll live, I guess. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about that. I think it be, could be cool. Cool way to go about it. Right, these men should have wood. Yes, they have wood. And we can even sell a lot of it if we wanted to. But for now, we're going into the smithy and we are refining charcoal. Oh. Oh, yes, we are unlocking the parts of shit that we are smithing. My God, isn't that just how it should be? And we're out. But, you know, that was actually not nothing compared to uh, vanilla. <laughs> Believe it or not. Wait, so, so we still have a quest here? I'm not sure why. We do not, as far as I'm aware. Nope, that's a bug. <gasps> oh, well. Do you know what? We don't need to go any specific direction. Let's just go southwards. Let's just find some bandits to smash on now. Or tournaments or whatever we we have the power this entire world is engulfed in the flames of war it's fantastic and we'll find someone to test our metal against some other tournaments maybe no tournaments here though maybe we should actually get ourselves some decent armor I mean I don't know if we could really get decent armor but something that's not Trash? Yeah, that would be good. Even this worn leather vest is kind of decent. But alright, so we do want something that's light and good. And this is light and good, so... I think we could give this heavy Akaton to him. See, why is it a heavy Akaton? It weighs two, which is actually nothing. It's kind of weird to me, but whatever. Padded van braces, male mittens, yeah, okay, do you know what, padded van braces are not so bad, we could do that. We're just giving ourselves a little bit of something, so that we don't get mauled? Yeah, that's right. Ooh, luxurious headscarf, too bad it's a bit heavier than what we're wearing, because it's cute. <laughs> no, no, we're not going to spend money on anything else right now, we don't actually have to. Wait, why did we pay 5,000? Is that how expensive that shit was? I'm, uh... Pretty stupid, I guess. Because I did not even realize what the hell just happened there. Hideout. Ooh. Wait, I should check if this person has a quest for that. Quests for hideouts are the only real ways to do hideouts. Yes! Yes, I will help you! And also, um... See? Ah, oh, we got our stamina back by running around. My god. We are now 25. We can now get efficient charcoal production. Ah! Excellent. And we're halfway there to 50, really. Hmm. Yes, I'm thinking that we're going to add an additional rule to this. That we can upgrade the same piece of armor if we then reach... 100 smithing. Ah, yes. One upgrade per one piece per 50 skill and smithing. I like the sound of that. Gives us a reason to continue past 50 other than, you know, smithing we weapons. Wait, holy shit. This sells for a lot here. Well, not not so much after selling a bit of it. Which is okay. We'll, uh, we'll earn a little bit of profit there. Because we do want some profit, actually. And then we'll do the good old refine here. Bam, 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 bam. Now, should we forge something? I think we should. This is something we can do. And what he wants... Oh, there we go. If we can make it way better in any regard, then it's... I suppose we can't really, because... Um... We probably can't even forge it. No, we can't. We need wrought iron. Well, we can make that. And now we can forge it. No? Oh, we need a piece of wood. Well, okay. Sorry, I just haven't been smithing that much recently because I bloody hate it, but... Uh... Okay, okay. 
Now we can forge it. Is it decent? The client is displeased. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Come on. It wasn't that much worse. Um, apparently, this is something we can do. Oh, we don't have any javelin shafts. Actually, hold on. With this, with the wonderful world of mods, we can buy a simple javelin, accept, oats to smithy, and then smelt it. And we... Oh, we learned something else as well! And now I think we can actually do this. Because we actually have one of these! Oh my god. Oh, it's really, really close. I don't think we're going to make it. For some reason, this one is worse for it. I don't know. It's fine. We can forge this fine, actually. We can forge multiple of these if we have the wood. Okay. For some reason, the worth is less, but everything else is right. How is that possible? I... Because he wanted me to use better quality stuff? I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, chances of this succeeding are pretty shitty. I can make it, though. Doesn't even cost... Actually, I can do that. Can I forge this? I can forge this two-handed sword. That's pretty nice. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's see how bad it is. Okay. Okay. He cut a lot of pri a lot of money from the price. Um, but we still earn some money on that actually, whilst gaining some smithing skill. So we can't we can't hate it. Hmm. Oh, and now there's a tournament here. I'm sorry, hideout, but we've got to do the tournament instead because uh, I have, I need more money. I need more money. <laughs> A pike! Oh, a sign horse thief is gonna love it. We're gonna bet it all. We're gonna bet it all because I'm insane! Oh, it's Bill Hook! Yes! Come here! We are too small to hit properly. Ho oh, ho, baby! He really is too small! Wahoo, baby! We have more money to bet, and we will! Let's see how he can do against something that she's actually supposed to be good at. Oh, slap a noodle! Can you do it? Hey, hey, hey! Oh, is he gonna say- oh! Oh, oh! Slap! Oh, hey, hey, hey. Get out of here, Mr. Vulture. We are not interested in what you're selling. Get out of here. Hmm. I suppose this is the better way to go about it than having vultures. There we go. He thought he was safe, but he was not safe. My goodness. Everything feels so much smoother when you're small. I guess everything needs to travel a, f a small, short distance, and I guess your range is probably smaller. But damn it, if it doesn't feel much, much better. Maybe it just looks it, uh, then rather than that it is, but it feels it, and feeling is important. As you know, human beings are based on emotion quite a bit, like <laughs> in your face emotions. Hmm. Damn it, man. Sign is really getting decked the heck out, isn't he? And we are getting a lot of money. We should be getting the wood. Oh, so no, this is where we were selling wood. Uh, do they have food? Olives! If I check a hundred... What the... F fuck! We're getting all this. I don't, I don't care. I don't fucking care, man. Uh, we'll pay We'll pay a little bit of extra for some... Yeah, we, we'll do that. We'll do that because we're going to... 
earn so much money on this shit. Holy crap. Remember that. We're going to Varchek to sell beer. Does this person want to help us get rid of the... No, it doesn't. Oh, shit. It's night. Get there quick. All right. We made it. Attack. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Our boy needs his pike. My goodness, he's got way too much shit. But it's good shit. Mm. Attack! Now, I think we're gonna just have him do melee. Like, let's not beat around the bush here. I think there's really no, no need to do that. I will kill my stuff. Because it makes sense. I am... The little tosser Rumo. Even though I'm missing. And even though the explosion looks massive, even though it's not really... Oh, the trained Valkyries are taking all the kills. I guess they're pretty good with their two-handed mauls. I guess it's actually really good that their two-handed weapons are not long. Because, I mean... I think the fact... Oh, shit. What? Okay. Time... Serious... Serious mode on here. Oh, it's because they're archers, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They're archers. Yeah, of course, should have known. As soon as the enemies had bows, things would start dying. Well, I already knew that, but it has become ever more apparent that that is the reality. Ever more! I don't know if that's really supposed to mean anything or say anything. I'm now allowing them to throw shit. Maybe that was a bad move. Because she just got whacked in the head. But... I'm doing it. Screw it. See, I feel like their throwing is terrible. Well, sign horse. Thief. God, we've got to get rid of the horse thief part. I don't like it at all. Okay, this is an archer man. He is not going to be able to defeat us in a duel. I mean, look at us. Look at our tiny scrawny ass. He's bugging. Told you. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, you guys suck. Hey, I can actually hurt these guys. <laughs> Usually you can't hurt them in that state. Bam! Oh, baby, these are good. Maybe we should just not sell them off. I mean, just because we don't have archers in our army doesn't mean we shouldn't be able to sneak some in like this. Alright. So, I'm feeling it's giving us more shield maidens than soldiers. So we're going to do like that, just so we get a few more of them. Yeah. Now I've got more of them, which is good. I kind of just want to... It's the tankier, right? I kind of like that. And we've got an elite Valkyrie now. Oh my god, look at this beef monster. Oh boy, that is some real stuff. Expensive. But powerful and definitely worth it. Oh, and all that charm experience. Oh, fantastic. Actually, we've got 22,000 gold. We can get a blacksmith already. Not only that, we're not that far off of 50 smithing. So maybe we should try and just... We go up to Varchek and sell all the stuff we got. And then try and get as much Thamaskeen as we can. Hmm, I think I like the sound of that. Oh, even Sign Horse, he leveled up. My goodness. Brilliant. I think we will give him one-handed. Ah, just so I know that he's actually doing shit that works. Um, yeah, let's give him larger shield protection. What do we want otherwise? Let's give him some intelligence. Increase the speed with which he gains experience. Even though he seems to be getting experience at a good pace. But all right, I think that's, uh, that's a pretty damn good start. We've got our best friend, we've got money, we've got some serious goals that are cool. Oh yeah, we managed to avoid a great defeat too. Um, and by that I mean I usually always suffer great defeats in the first episodes of series. Mm. But yes, next time we're going to earn even more money and we should be getting ourselves a blacksmith. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.